Hello, hi, I'm uh, Dr. Su and I'm the uh, internist uh, practice primary care uh, service at the Stratton VA here. Uh, I'm asked to uh, demonstrate Chinese calligraphy and um, probably some of you already know that I, uh, when I was in middle school, uh, while I was still in Taiwan, I had a, a actually a formal training of Chinese calligraphy in middle school uh, for almost two years. Uh, I was probably about at age uh, in 10 to 12 and every morning uh, I have about an hour or so in the morning to uh, just you know practice the Chinese calligraphy and for two years so and I'm gonna go into that in more detail about the the, the there's a different styles of uh, Chinese calligraphy. So, um, and I'll tell you about what 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 style I learned when I was uh, at that. Um, you talk about the kind of quality papers that really really uh, amazing that they they they, they just just absorb the, the 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 fluid. Really, it's not you know it's not too wet. It dry really quick, and sometimes the paper doesn't really when the ink dry, and then it causes wrinkles of, of the paper. So you know, so I, I haven't been that got a, I haven't got a chance to visit. You know, I, I know where some of the parts of the China they produce the type of paper, and I I really in in the, in the future I really, I'm interested in like visit the, the, the place and then including the place where they produce the the ink stone and the paper. And also, there are several places that produce a uh, very world famous like the type of calligraphy brush. Okay, so so we got the brush, we got the ink stick, we got the uh, we got the um, the ink stone, and then uh, I didn't bring the paper. So this is where we do. And so there are the the tools we call the four treasures of the study: the brush, the ink stick, the stone, and the paper. Those are the things that are necessary for you to write to correspond and in the old days people really you know using this to send out their uh, 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 correspondence the letters and it's just like our, us now we use emails and all that stuff and you know this is definitely uh, something in the old days then you know they, they do that and people really are proud especially the scholars are proud of you know with years of practice and to send out their um, their letters to other you know people say and part of the reason that you know people judge the, the the style and then the the character of the callig calligraphy, and so purportedly that it's an it's not just a form of writing. I'm I'm just gonna quote it here. It's a, it's a way of expressing one's thoughts and emotions through the beauty of the strokes and the harmony of the composition. Okay. So when they mean composition and uh, uh, what they mean is that but, but we're gonna go talk about the, the one of the styles really really you know kind of like we call it um, let me see it's called cursed script cursed script yeah, that's all the style cursed cursed script it's a really chaotic random and all that stuff I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the book like the, the style and it's really similar to. I bring a, a, one of the a book about Western art. It's almost similar to Paul Jackson, like his his the, the drip drip painting, drip painting. So you think about it, the, the drip painting is just basically it's gonna be like what we, I'm gonna show you what the cursive style. It's like instead of the the real brush that in contact of the paper, but it's just a Paul Jackson just you know it's, instead of putting a thing on the canvas, but canvas and then but he just do the drip. And then so you know, and you see a, a lot of you know like the, the, the drip and then the the lines and then the the, the, the curves and all that with the thick mixes uh, thin lines and you know some of thicker ones. But and you know, seemingly looks very random and chaotic, but there's some sense of harmony if you look at overall from distance. And that's exactly sometimes the the composition which I'm gonna show you in this book. You know, especially those are famous pieces are exhibited in, in, in the museum, you can see that the way the whole composition is very kind of balanced out. 
okay in, all right so i'm going to show you all that and you know it's a, it's a it's kind of like consider of fine art in 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 in, in, in especially calligraphy in, in 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 china and i wanted to quote especially uh let's book alan watts I, if you're interested in about the evolution of Chinese writings and especially um, okay, especially from the, the, the pictures, pic pictogram, we call ideogram. And some of the, the, the from the the real symbols and pictures, how they evolve the the Chinese handwritings. All right, over time, and you can see this. Okay, so you know there's a chapter here. He talk about like pretty much the advantage. He, he, Alan Watts actually compare. This is a book called Tao, the Water Course Way. Okay, um, about the, the the advantage compared to the alphabet, the linear pattern that, and then compared to the Chinese characters versus the alphabets and then all that so it's a very fascinating read fascinating read okay um so uh you know okay so yes yeah, some of these are pretty much more more you can tell the more ancient styles the, the, the first few styles the the rich styles are this is a more like the rich styles the, the stroke is very straight, not as you know, very easy to kind of make out each words. And some when you go down to the, so that's what I would call that the regular style. This is really like curvy and all that stuff. You can tell it's, it's the cursive, cursive style. All right. And somewhere between the, the, the rigid, the rigid style, this is almost like a rigid as well, the rigid style. The real rich each word is very distinct the stroke is very distinct but here this is like kind of over the place right over the place and so the running the running style is more like this is almost like a running style you can you can make out but it's not as rigid but yet it's not as cursive as this even if you don't understand the, the word and the meaning you can tell by just the form and I'm more, I'm more, uh, when usually as a beginner, and you know, uh, usually you start out with learning, the style is the richest style, the richest style. And so we, I just talk about early demonstrate, you gotta hold it like this. And you put your arm, uh, elbow onto here as a support, and then that's where you go each stroke, very slow, the richest style. Uh, I don't, do that that much the rigid style and I wasn't really actually trained the, the so-called running style the cursive style really even though it's very random and sort of chaotic and all that it, it still have a certain type of require you have to stick to a certain type of form so even the the cursive cursive one is it's, it's not easy that's one I think is very difficult to, to practice that but I'm doing more like a, the running style the running is between the rigid and the cursive so it's more like commonly people when even the people use writing to each other, uh, it's more people using the, the so-called running style and all that. They can write, but doesn't mean they know how to do calligraphy. That's that's the distinction. Okay. So and nowadays the younger generation, you know, people, you know, don't don't learn how to write calligraphy anymore. So okay. So this is an almost like a lost art. Just you know, just for you to know. Okay, anyway, so any question? And then uh, there are some of the, you know, the, the books has displayed some of the, the famous uh, pieces in, in the museum. If you ever, you know, get a chance to, uh, you know, go to Asia, you know, go to the museum, and you're gonna see that some of the uh, famous calligraphy on display. And don't be alarmed, you know, uh, when you go to the section there, the light is very, very dim, very dim. Why? You're gonna wonder like, well, uh, not paying enough, enough tracery bill or whatever. No, that's not, not the case. It's because of the most of the, the, the paper, despite how how well you preserve the quality of the paper and you know from damages and, and from uh, the, 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 the moisture, the damp, uh, and even now well preserved, even like when they were even lost and buried into some 
the rulers uh, 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 tomb subject to you know moisture uh, slimy and 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 damp and already destroyed before they were being excavated and and you know and in a museum so some of the real famous one you probably not in your entire lifetime they won't even put out for exhibition in the, you know they were putting in in their their storage uh, and well preserved and the the long usually they project average uh, the, the the life for uh, any any paper are not more than a thousand a thousand years and so when they put out in the museum display the light can supposed to be causing the the, the light or UV light whatever can cause a damage to the paper and all that so they will try to minimize the exposure to sunlight as much as possible so when you ever go to the museum in, in Asia looking for this it's not different than in you go to like you know museums in, in, in Europe where the oil painting and whatever they are not as a subject to, to damages but they crack too they crack you see if you ever see the piece of Mona Lisa the distance you, you can tell the little tiny cracks and all that stuff so okay and even each room has a different temperature different temperature the moisture they control it in the, in the museum you know in the setting so so i will urge you this interesting thing to consider to to look at it and then uh, to appreciate the form and all that stuff okay so anyway what he says is the practice of calligraphy is considered in the far east as a fine art um the the importance of the, the, uh, the calligraphy is its visual beauty and its expression of the character of the writer. So kind of like we kind of even can sense like oh, when people, you know, writing you something and all that, and you know, like you can somehow imagine the person's uh, uh, character by judging their handwriting. You know, some are sloppy, some are maybe like refined, some are really, you know. So it's the same thing with uh, that, that they think that they can you can perceive the person's character based on their calligraphy writing and things like that. And uh, so Chinese calligraphy controlling the flow of water. So because he said that the, 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 the ink is mostly water, okay? And so it's the calligraphy controlling the flow of water with a soft brush as distinct from the hard pen require that you go with the flow Go with the flow, okay? All right. And so, the beauty of Chinese calligraphy is thirst. The same beauty which we recognize in moving water, in form, spray, eddies, and waves, as well as in clouds, flames, and weaving of smoke in sunlight. Okay. So the 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 the, the, the Eastern philosophy, especially toward the you know uh, the, the the Tao. And then, especially, it's like the water course way. Tao is a very, it's a, 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 a type of philosophy originated in, in, in China and really emphasize the, the, the relationship between man and the nature. And especially uh, toward to the, the flow, the water way, like that, you know, it, it means like to be flexible, okay, to be flexible, like water. You know, or I go with nature, go with the go with the flow. That's what we say. And calligraphy is a part of considered as a fine art, and really in accordance with the the Tao philosophy. So if you're really interested, you know, and Alan Watts' this book is very in, you know talk about like the Tao philosophy, the yin and yang, the the Chinese character, the calligraphy, and especially he he also as a Westerner, he's really uh, you know um, conversant in. In, in, in the in the Eastern philosophy, and he also mentioned that he practiced calligraphy for many many years. Alan Watts. Okay, so I really strongly recommend this book in case you're interested. In it. So anyway, so we talk about that, and I'm gonna uh, sort of show you a little bit about the um, the style. So all right, so we talk about that the calligraphy as, as an art and then now I'm going to talk to you about the, the different styles and all that so there are the, the mainly main five styles the seal script the clerical script regular script 
running script, cursive script, or you call it style or script, whatever. So there are major, maybe five, five major ones. You probably can not worry about the, the first two. Obviously, they go by almost chronological order. You know, back to the more ancient, uh, over uh, 2,000 years ago, and the official style is Okay, so almost the, the initial very old is that they carved into the, the uh, uh, turtoys, turtoys, or it's just like uh, Sumerian culture, the, the, the cuneiform, the writings, and then, you know, they used to stick to write on the, 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 the clay and then the cuneiform. So think about that's a very equivalent to that, and they, 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 they carve onto the the, the animal bones and, and, and things like that. That's the, the ancient, and even, you know, I mean, we, we, some are very uh, picturesque, symbolic, and even we can understand, even though, you know, some you can probably make it out. And so this is one of the very more ancient handwritings. About that calligraphy here. By the way, feel free to uh, ask me questions. It's not a, a real formal right. You can interact and then ask me questions. Okay, so, so. Um do the calligraphy, okay? And then uh, there are people who hold it very close to here. <laughs> There's no correct way. And some people hold it really like up here, okay, up here. But really what it focus on is your the movement of your wrist, of your wrist your wrist, okay? And that's why when you put the ink stick and then, you know, mix with the water to make the, the, the ink, it really help you to loosen up your, your wrist in the first place. So you do it over and over until it fits, okay? So I'm just gonna, uh, there's a different size, the big, small, and so that would uh, allow you to, you know, do small, small writings or big writings and things like that, okay? So I'll use the big one first. So you see it's very soft. I don't like a soft that much actually. I like it more stiff. And here I won't be able to find it. Oh, by the way, you know, if you're interested in taking on calligraphy, you can actually able to find some of the brush, the, 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 the stone, the ink from Amazon. You know, Amazon, yeah. So Amazon's every, every single store. So feel free, okay? Um, so, okay. So anyway, so I'm gonna uh, try to, to write this. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing a running, running style okay so it's very easy you try to think of what you're gonna write before you actually put into action that's i like to do that so and then you try to finish in as as a minimum stroke as much possible without lifting your 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 brush okay so i'm gonna just I'm gonna write a word right okay like that that means easy e e easy okay e okay all right uh, and this is a, this is water actually, and you try it out. This is a special type of a, 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 a paper form they, they, they make. So it's a very, and then you see, as you see, it's already fading away. Okay, so that is, this is a, like, sort of like the running style, okay? But if I'm gonna do a rich style, a beginner, uh, you know, you're not as like, you know, it's easy at moving that the, the brush around, so you have to do like so. As a kid, okay, we're like sitting there and you go like holding like this and very careful looking like same word. And I gotta have to like rigidly straight one, okay, okay, right, and then go like this. Okay, so that's like a like a day, okay, and then here. So you see, okay, and then, and then. Go 
those things. Okay. Ah, oh, it's very painful, okay? Even take me like this. Don't have the time to do this kind of stuff, right? As you get older, you, you don't have as much patience. Right? Because, oh, okay. See how, see how long it takes for me to get this? About a minute or so, and rather than a few seconds, okay? So the different style and all that. And then the, 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 the real cursive style, trust me, even, even shoulder stroke and all that stuff. And I'm not even doing that because it just takes another a lot of years to practice to, 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 to be in. Uh, good at, at doing that. So, so that's a, just give you an example, okay? And then so many words, and then you know you can see different words like this, and then that means beauty, okay? So it's very fast, it's a stroke and all that stuff, okay? So that's beauty. So okay, and then you know, and then smaller, smaller brush. You can write a bit even smaller. You can write a small, right? Like uh, another one, like uh, okay, let's see. Is. Okay, so smaller words, smaller brush, and, write, and can write even really tiny ones. Like that, little tiny, little tiny words, and or even that is smaller, even smaller than this. So different style, different different way you you you, you practically with it. Okay, so uh, it's it's hard to 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 appreciate, but I'm not sure you know you can sense that. And so that's that's part of it. And in the composition, if you you look at the The way the overall, you see, it's very balanced, and the the it goes through so many collectors throughout the years. It goes through different hands before it gets put into the museum. And the modern time, each collectors they put a stamp. As I'm, the, I was the owner of this this piece before you see but you got to remember even when they put a stand they now they'll find a space and also create a sense of balance so make sure they're not just stand by right here Oop, no uh -uh. here maybe here or somewhere okay and some of the again see here here many different places okay and this is you can tell this is very random and, and over the place, cursive, cursive. The running, the cursive style. And the other two styles, they're all maybe even we can recognize that, that, that um, we don't practice not that we don't recognize, I should say. So this is very, so that the, 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 the piece on display where the stem is also matters to create a, a very harmonic uh, composition. All right, so that, I think that's it. I hope you know you were, you know, Take up the interest if you, you know in the future you ever want to you know consider practice you know uh, calligraphy you know and and it's a something to as a hobby and then you wanted to as a something and if any question feel free to uh, let me know I will be glad to answer any question you have so maybe. maybe.